So guess what, big surprise, today I was feeling like a pretentious fucking twat, so I've decided to make this video on life lessons. Good hello there everyone, hope you're doing alright, if you're not, hang in there, you got this. I'm Aronika Screaming and today this video is going to be about life lessons. Little wisdoms and philosophies that'll help you along your daily life. Maybe. I figure these are just kind of things to remember, like good to keep in the back of your head so that you won't die. But either way, today I've decided to share them with you, so let's go. Life lesson number one, you don't matter. On a universal scale, in the grand scheme of things, you are not even a blip on the universal radar. You're gonna come, you're gonna do some shit, you're gonna go, and none of it is gonna matter. Pretty much everybody has this dream of meaning something great to the world, but in the end, no one's really gonna mean anything in a hundred years. Of course that's not to say that people shouldn't try to be a good person, no, but it's just that you can't revolve your life around trying to mean something to the world because you're not gonna. Realistically, none of us are gonna be remembered in a couple centuries, so instead of trying to mean something to the entire world, instead I think it's better to try and mean something to the individual people around you. Which brings us to our next little life lesson, be a good person to others. Yeah, okay, most people probably will take this for granted because obviously you're supposed to be a good person, but when's the last time that you've just done a random act of kindness to a stranger on the street? Being a good person to other people might seem like one of those things as it's like, oh yeah, obviously, but sometimes it just isn't that obvious. Sometimes you just need to actually go ahead and remind yourself to be a better person to others. And see, the world could always use more good people. And even to assholes, unless they're like, total dickheads, like absolute 100% wanker nonce case, even if they're just like assholes, don't be an asshole back. It's a lot easier to just tell them to fuck off and then go away. Don't harm yourself to make other people happy. Tying on to the be a good person to others, it shouldn't affect you negatively. You see, however good of a person you are to others, you have to be even better to yourself. To bring happiness to others, you must first bring happiness to yourself. Oh hey, do you hear that? That's the sound of any Asian viewers that I had leaving, sorry. <laughs> no, but if someone else's happiness depends on you putting yourself in harm's way to make them happy, then they don't deserve you making them happy. You helping someone should not come as a harm to you, even if it isn't a two-way street and even if it's just you making them happy and they're not doing anything to you, it should at least not be bad for you. To bring happiness to others is a great deed, but one that must never ever come at the expense of your own well-being. And you know what, if they don't think that you are worth their time, then they are surely not worth yours. People may seem so great that you absolutely need them in your life, like people that you idolize, like people that you feel like you need to be with. That in and of itself is fine. If someone manages to be such a good person, then that's great. But if they show no interest in you, why are you wasting your time on them? If they don't care about you, you you shouldn't be spending your time on them. They don't care about you, okay, well, then they can fuck off. No one needs that sort of shit in their life. So if they are like that, walk away from them. Find someone else, because there is always, always, someone who will be able to accept you for who you are, because you are enough. Whoever you are, whatever kind of person you are right now, it is 100% enough. No matter what anyone, even yourself, says, the person that you are right now, that is enough. That is all that the universe asks from you. And that is all that anybody should ask from you. But even then, you do you. If there's something you want to be, work hard at it. Whether it's something you want to look like or be good at or the kind of person you want to be, if you really, really want it, work hard at it. You should indeed always strive to be the best version of yourself. All I'm saying with the you are enough thing is that you should always remember that whoever you are is enough. So however hard you work at getting to be whoever you want to be, don't push yourself. If you're putting too much strain on yourself on becoming who you want to be, then you're pushing yourself, and that ain't good. Pushing your limits obviously is a healthy thing so that you can kind of, you can expand your limits, but if you push too far over your limits, then that is bad for you. Working hard means a gradual build up to your goal. Day after day, you get a little better and a little better and a little better until you are where you want to be. And it's gonna take a lot of time. You won't reach your goal immediately. Whatever you wanna be, it won't happen just like that. It's a gradual build up of slowly, slowly getting better until you're there. And along the way, you will fail. Over and over and over again, much more than you will succeed, you will will fail. And that's a good thing, if you're making mistakes it means that you're going in the right direction. If there's one thing that video games have taught me is that if there's a bunch of enemies in your way you're going in the right direction. That's metaphorical enemies of course, if you catch yourself in an alleyway cornered by two tall men, 
that's not the right way to go. Along the way to your goal, you will experience many small victories, but it will be nothing to the amount of failures that you will experience. Because the failures only serve to make you stronger, to make you learn, and if it weren't for those failures teaching you, you would never get to those victories. Your failures will only make your victories shine twice as bright, let's put it like that. Be chill. Just be chill. A calm, collected, kind of watching the world go by attitude towards life. If you put your mind to it, it's not a hard task at all. I know this makes me sound like one of those neurotypical, like, just try and do yoga kind of people, but I honestly don't think it's too hard of a task. I mean, personally, I have a lot of anxiety and just by trying to be chill and just have a chill attitude towards life, I've actually gotten rid of a lot of that anxiety and I've been able to be a lot more content with my life. So essentially just sit back and watch the world go by. Hurt is necessary. Hurt is something that you need to feel. It is quite possibly one of, if not the most powerful experience that you can have. An experience that hurts you is an experience that teaches you, and an experience that teaches you is an experience that will let you grow. The only time that hurt is a problem is if it happens excessively. Hurt should still be a fairly rare thing to happen to you. People are going to be different, and by that I don't mean that, oh, if you're straight then some people are gonna be gay, get over it. No, that's obvious. What I mean is that everyone will be from a different walk of life than you. Everyone will hold different beliefs, they'll have, have had different experiences, different opinions, different... Uh, what's the word for that? Different tastes? I don't know, different things that they've gotten used to. You, you get my point. And oftentimes people are going to challenge your beliefs and your views and your opinions and that is good. People are going to make you uncomfortable with the things that they are comfortable with. I think it's important to at least try and understand all of these people. And last but not least, my favourite philosophy in life, do no harm, take no shit. I think a lot of these earlier life lessons can be summarised in this one. Be kind to others, help them, understand them, don't be an asshole to them. However, if they raise their fists against you, you raise your fists right back. If someone's beating you down, you have absolutely no obligation to just fucking sit there and take it. So long as you remember not to become one of the bad guys. And that's just about it. So yeah, that's the video. If you liked it, go ahead and smash the motherfucking like button. If you want to see more, go ahead and smash the motherfucking subscribe. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.